Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today I want to talk about why I switched over from iMovie to Adobe Premiere Pro. So today I want to talk about the differences between these two different um, video editing softwares, iMovie and Adobe Premiere Pro. So there are benefits to both and there's cons to both as well. So I just want to talk about the pros and the cons and just talk about you know why it would be beneficial to use one versus the other so for me I started out doing my editing in iMovie so I would send my video projects over to some of my friends who do um, video editing and my best friend she one day was like well this is pretty easy and I think that you would be able to do it in iMovie and my dad had been telling me, you know, just try iMovie. I think you can do it, you know, you know how to do web design and graphics. And so I did a Zoom video with my friend Monica. She showed me all the basics of iMovie. And from there, I started doing, um, you know, different editing. And of course, I then started this channel doing my YouTube videos. And so the benefit of iMovie is that it's a free program. It automatically comes installed on all of your Mac computers. If you have a Mac Apple computer, then you already have iMovie there. And so you don't have to worry about purchasing software. You can just get started right away in the iMovie program. So that is definitely a plus because it's free and it's very user friendly. And so, like I said, she just gave me the basic rundown. And then once you get the basics, you can just get started and develop your projects and do all of your video editing. So it is definitely a user-friendly platform and it is great for beginners. And so if you're looking to start your channel or start doing some video editing projects, I would highly advise you to just get started in iMovie because if you get started in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or something a little bit more intense, then it'll be harder for you to learn. And so if you can get the basics in iMovie, then I think that that's going to be a lot easier for you to just get started and get up and running with your editing. So as I continue to, you know, do my videos and I started getting more into my content and different types of videos I wanted to do, you know, different tutorials and things like that. I started to see that there are a lot of limitations in iMovie. So if you're just doing like some basic vlogs and things like that, you know, just maybe some simple music behind your audio and video, you know, tracks, then I think that it's fine. But once you start getting into things that are a little bit more detailed, you want to layer effects, videos, music on top of each other, then you're going to start running into issues. And I started to realize that there were a lot of things that I wanted to do that I was limiting myself on because of the restrictions and the limits that are within iMovie. And so once I started researching the different programs that they have out there, I saw that there was a lot more that I would be able to do if I switched over. So I made the decision and I was going back and forth between um, Adobe Premiere Pro and then Final Cut Pro, which a lot of people use. And since I am a graphic designer and a web designer, I already have a subscription to the Adobe Suite. And so if you're not familiar, the Adobe Suite is just all of your different design programs, editing programs through Adobe, such as Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, um, After Effects, all of those things. And so I saw that um, Premiere Pro was included in the package that I have. And so that definitely was a plus because I wasn't gonna come out of any additional money but if you are starting out and you don't have a subscription, then you can get either, you know, just that one program, um, Premiere Pro, and you can get a subscription for that. Or you can just get the whole suite, which is, you know, definitely a plus, especially if you want to start editing some graphics and photos and images to include in your videos, then you might want to look into the whole suite. So I think the suite is probably like 50 some dollars a month. 
and you know it may seem pricey but it's definitely worth it if you're really going to be doing a lot of editing you really want to get serious about your channel and if you want to do some other projects utilizing the other programs you know i already had the subscription and so i went ahead and just started using the program and doing the research to see how to use it so since i had already been doing imovie it wasn't too bad of a learning curve for me but it definitely is a lot more to it and there may be some things that are the same as far as functionality but since it's a new platform you'll have to figure out you know where to find the tools and all of those things so i would say that definitely imovie is you know easier to get started but Premiere Pro, while it may be a little bit more difficult and intense, it's almost easier, especially if you're a graphic designer who already uses Adobe programs because their layout is kind of similar to what you would see with like, you know, a toolbar and, you know, your different palettes and all of those things. So if you're familiar with the Adobe Suite and a lot of those different applications, then, you know, you'll see some familiarity between those apps as well as Premiere Pro. So what I started noticing right away was that one of the drawbacks of iMovie is that they only have two tracks. And so what tracks are is just basically like stacking and layering your different video content, graphic images, logo, sound. And so you may have a video where you wanna have your main content like your video that I'm doing now, speaking directly to camera. And then you want to include a logo on top of that. And then you may also want to keep the logo and have a cutout picture in picture frame, you know, showing an image of, you know, what you're talking about. And then you may also want to have a subscribe little graphic pop in you may want to have your website pop in and you want to stack all of these things on top of each other in one single frame and iMovie will not let you do that they'll only allow you to do two and so you may only be able to do your logo and then if you want to put in a picture in picture frame showing you know what you're talking about in your tutorial then you would have to remove the logo and swap it out for that and so I started noticing like you know I'm I want to put three things in one frame and so the great thing about Adobe Premiere Pro is that you have unlimited tracks and so that is a major bonus so you can be so creative you can layer and stack as many images and graphics and videos as you like you can put multiple sound images so that was definitely a plus for me another drawback that i started to encounter is that the text graphics was not really customizable at all and they didn't even have a lot of dynamic templates for intro slides or you know popping in with titles and you know it was cool for a while but then it's like i'm a graphic designer so i want to have like something that looks a little bit more dynamic i want to be able to you know swap out and do my own effects if i like to and so i didn't really like that from the beginning i noticed that and so once i started doing the research for premiere pro I saw that they have a lot more templates. So even if you don't customize and create your own um, images that are gonna pop in for like your title images on top of your video or anything like that, they have so many templates, so many effects, and it just really can elevate your video content and take it up to the next level because you're able to just make it look more like you, more your own, more customizable. So that is another benefit of Adobe Premiere Pro versus iMovie. And also another benefit, I know that I've already mentioned that it is a part of the suite. And the good thing about that is that you can link your different files within Adobe Premiere Pro. 
And so if you design something, you have some audio or you have some graphics that you've created in an Adobe program, then you can link it straight directly into your project into Adobe Premiere Pro. There's so many tutorials out there. So you can just look up so many things on YouTube. They have tutorials directly into the Premiere Pro um, application. So you can just go to like the education training. You can pull up a lot of videos there. And then as I run into different things, you know, sometimes you don't know until you start working on a project and it's like, oh, I want to do this or I want to do that. And then I'll just go on YouTube or go on the internet and just Google, you know, what it is that I want to do and, you know, watch a video on that. So I'm in the learning stages, but as of now, I am so happy with the upgrade. Um, but I don't want to knock iMovie because iMovie has been good to me for sure. And it is definitely such a great starting point when you're doing your um, designing and you're doing your video editing projects. And there is a lot that you can do. But once you want to take things up to the next level, you want to do more dynamic projects, you want to have more graphics and more things coming in and popping in and all of that, then, you know, I seriously would recommend, you know, just looking to upgrade. So another benefit to Adobe Premiere Pro is that it's compatible on Mac and PC computers. And so iMovie, you can only use it on a Mac, which is okay for me because I'm a Mac user. But um, for those of you who are going to be working on a PC, you can use Adobe Premiere Pro because it's part of the Adobe suite. Now, um, Final Cut Pro, which I've also mentioned, which is pretty much, you know, a competitor with Final with Premiere Pro. So they're similar. I haven't used Final Cut Pro, but, you know, I hear a lot of people use that. And that is only available on Mac. So you won't be able to use it if you're a PC user. You can't use Final Cut Pro on a PC. It's only available on Mac, as well as iMovie, only available on Mac. So if you learn Premiere Pro and you use Adobe Premiere Pro, then you do have the option that, you know, you can use this program on Macs and PC. So that's another benefit that it is compatible on different platforms and different devices. So those are just some benefits to both. And hopefully you guys have a better understanding of, you know, the transition, why you may want to look to upgrade, from iMovie and what the benefits are for iMovie when you're just starting out. So let me know what you guys think and if you have any other pros and cons for each of these platforms. And look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.